Today is Friday, September 18th, and this is the Citrus TV Now. It's 59 degrees and sunny in Syracuse today. I'm Rob Flax, and here are today's top stories. Coronavirus cases on campus continue to rise. On SU's COVID-19 dashboard, there are 30 positive tests in the last 14 days, with 109 students currently in quarantine. And a letter to students, campus officials reminded the SU community to, quote, keep our bubble intact. And this means staying in CNY and not traveling to other universities over the weekend. The ability to download TikTok and WeChat ends this weekend. On Sunday night at midnight, both apps will be removed from U.S. app stores. This follows President Trump's executive order to prevent China from collecting U.S. Americans' app data. The ban will continue until potential buyer Oracle reaches a deal with both the U.S. and Chinese governments. Also from the White House, the president says he will sign an executive order to promote a, quote, patriotic education. This after the president criticized the Smithsonian for promoting critical race theory in his speech Thursday night. The theory explores how white people have benefited from racism. The president says this theory is damaging. Teaching this horrible doctrine to our children is a form of child abuse in the truest sense of those words. The president has threatened to cut funding from schools who teach this theory. And that's all the time we have on Citrus TV now. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram for the latest content. I'm Rob Flax. Have a great evening, Syracuse.